All right, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you will not know that when I picked my melon, my first melon, I was so excited about it. I took it inside, chilled it overnight. After watering in the 100 degree day, went in at nine o'clock at night because I didn't water really late because it was way too hot. I went in to go open up my melon. It was pretty hard to open up actually. I, like took way more effort with the knife than I expected. So I put my phone down, I really dug into it and I opened it up and that is not a melon. That's a squash. <sighs> I was heartbroken. I still posted about it on Instagram though, but really now I don't care as much about these vines staying healthy because I'm like, eh, it's just another squash vine and I have a really good one over in the corner in the hay bales. So these little monkeys over here are my melons. They're the two, and I don't know why this happened because if we look here, it says cicada sweet right there. It says that it's the melon. So I have no idea how, how the squash got here. I'm still gonna cook them and enjoy them. They're just not the melon of my heart. It has been a year of disappointments in the garden. First the celery, now the melons. And it is another, it's, I don't know if it got up to 100, but it was at least 97 today. Isabel, are you being naughty? I don't like you under the grapevines, baby. But Basil and I are out here watering. I gotta pick some beans. I gotta pick some tomatoes. I gotta pull some plants that need to be pulled. If I were really motivated, I get the clippers and trim that back so the new growth there could go. But no, this is future Amy actually just inserting the bit about this because I was talking about them so excitedly in the video I filmed for Friday. Yeah, about that. Anyway, let's flash back to the rest of whatever I was rambling on about in the garden that day when I filmed. Just know that I have no melons, at least not on this vine. Yeah. That's the story of my garden this year, and I'm sticking to it. On the other hand, though, I do have a couple of cantaloupes growing, and I have no idea if they're going to get big enough or even have a chance to get big enough, but I do have three cantaloupes growing. So there's potential. There's always potential. Whether it comes to fruition or not, I guess that's the adventure of gardening. All right, on that note, back to whatever else I've filmed for the garden update ramble session. That appears to be what I'm doing at this time of year because I'm too hot to do anything else. Look at the bees! I just love they like the bird bath just as much as the birds. Now, are these yellow jackets? I think these are yellow jackets, not my bumblebees or my honeybees. So I don't like to get as close to them because they're a little more mm, persnickety. But yeah, I'm pretty sure those are yellow jackets. Let's see if I can see any bees over here. I'll just make sure. Oh, all my artichoke plants are pretty much gone, so I won't have my bees here for looking at close up. All right, yeah, those are yellow jackets. They need water too. All right, I heard bok bok bokin', and those little beasts pushed that log aside that I had blocking that entrance. Hey, get out of there! Hey, they pushed that log out of the way. Look at those Tulo beasts. Those are wily beasts. All right, let's see if I can step across here without breaking myself. I'm holding a knife, which is always good. This is what they're after. Um, chickens, by the way, ladies. See them? And they're like, who, us? We're so innocent. All right, let's get in here. Get that back there. All right. Hopefully that does it. Oh, these things are so pretty. Uh, they may be... The green ones aren't ripe at all. This is uneven ripening. But this one... Uh, what about you? See, it has to have this color on it. Well, that's pretty good to me. Those? Nope. Let's see what the chickens are. Haha. -ha. Uh-oh. I know where they're going. Watch out. Front gate unlocked. Chicken jaw bridge not in place. Prepare for invasion. Oh, there they are. See? Oh, sorry, little. <laughs> Scared the hummingbird. There are the little rascals. Oops. <sighs> really? Oh, and the donkeys are down now, too. 
put this in place. Amazing how this piece of cardboard works so well. They can get behind that, but they probably won't at this point. Yes, Jack, I heard you. Ugh. Gotta move the water and get back to picking some veggies. Spot 97. This bale did not get enough water yesterday. Plus, these are kind of thorns, and I don't know how long these are supposed to last, but I have about 20 <laughs> fruits on this vine, so I guess at any point in time they can stop producing and I will not be sad. They're decorative. Those flowers are doing well. Actually, they've just popped up because the kind of thorns died back. All right. Oh, the chicken's killing me. The nice thing is, though, that the chickens have been staying right under the grapevine, picking up the grapes that are falling on the ground, which I don't mind, because someone's got to eat them. Otherwise, the dogs will find them later. So, oh, the rascals. Go eat. I put the weed out there. Go eat your weeds. It's a nice, juicy weed. Fresh. Go eat it. Go get your weed. Oh, you're such a baby. Come on, look. Over there, your weed. Go get your weed. It's right over there. No. Oh, okay. Jack, you're such a baby. Go get your weed, it's right there, it's a fresh weed. You want me to pick some more? Convenient. Want that? There, look, there's a whole bunch right there. Go get it. Hi, baby Belle, are you a good girl? Are you a boopaloo? Yeah, it's hot out. You need some more water? We'll get some in a minute. We were picking zucchini and we got distracted by the chicken invaders. Ooh, the hummingbirds are talking up in that tree. All right, I'm gonna get back to work picking this beauty. So there you go. down here to check on the garden and this oh one sweet tater tot <laughs> we had thunderstorms and lightning last night and then today as well hello you big beast oh look at your no you can't have the nibbles that's my finger let me give you this ear rubbing oh sweet tater tot and oh Jack, look at his little chin make the quivers. He's such a baby. Here, let me get right there, that's better. Look at his little chin quivering. Oh Jack, what you doing beast? You want a snack? All right, let's find you a carrot. I bet you'll have some carrots ready. Let's see here. These carrots I planted in April, but we had really weird weather. So that's what we got. They're actually quite good carrots. Oh, there you go. As you can see, Jack approves of, oh, <laughs> Rocky heard crunching. You see that? You come, he <laughs> couldn't even stop to take a bite there. You want some carrots? All right, Beast, let's get you one too. Let's see here if we got another good one. I'm just gonna pour it together. Oh, so just a little nice one. I love small carrots on my best. These are cosmic reds. They're so good. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're about to have a kerfuffle. Hi, Tazaru. You heard the crunching. They're so funny. Tata, where'd you go? Okay, there you are. I don't want to step on the cat. Just that little one. All right. All right, baby. Here we come. Let's go back. Let's go back. There you go, you big beast. Uh-oh. Someone's going to get your treat. So we had thunder and lightning anyway, which is probably not great for my cantaloupe that is down there, but everything else seems okay. Look at this shameless purr face. Do you ever see such a terrible purr? Look at that, one to Tommy Robbins and everything. Where were you? You got burrs all over you again. Ooh, tater tot, you big beast. Oh, the squisher, squisher. There you are. Marigolds. Donkeys. I actually. Oops, sorry.
boys. Be good. Sorry, I won't make you a big cute jack. There you go. Tazaru. Taz is usually super gentle, actually. He's the rough one. Hey. With me, at least. Do you see that face? Jack, you're terrible. You're terrible. Don't eat the pole. That's just weird. Anyway. Hey, 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 boys. Be good. No, you can't. <laughs> you see this? All right, I'm gonna get away from the fence or they're gonna get kerfuffling. Uh, and they've already had plenty of snacks. <laughs> you know, that time when you had thunder and lightning all day and last night and they totally slept through it. And then you come out and you just picked beans yesterday. But you have at least this many that you can see beans, which means there's probably double that because they hide. You got that many beans to pick. That's serious business, I tell you. And this is the bean vine that I planted in, oh, no, no, no. I probably planted this one in April or May after the frost that we had and some things failed. So this was supposed to be my Chinese dragon tongue bean, which did not do well. And then I had given away, it only came with five seeds in a pack and I gave the other two away to the school. So I don't even know if they planted them, but I have some harvesting to do and it's getting a little bit darkish out. I hope you've had a beautiful day and everything's going well in your world. I have some sassy donkeys making noise over there. See you later. He stops rolling around like a mad donkey right when I get the camera out. A little booger. Got a little bit of a roll there, I guess. I have a cat crawling up my back. Literally. Jack is going to come try and harvest some squash leaves. Oh, you, you see this thing? That's my butt. That's really a little bit in, just unnecessarily invasive. Oh, sure, now he rolls away. As soon as I stop filming. Look, now he stopped again. Oh, that little bugger. Jack, you get your butt. I'm gonna have to put another, I'm gonna have to put another board in here. Yeah, you. Oh, you're so trouble. You are trouble. You stay out of my garden, bucko. And you can reach that squash plant too, can't you? Oh. You are in so trouble. It is a lovely afternoon. Though it is fairly humid, and that humidity may be due to the fact that I and the chicken are currently spreading mulch in the back area. Got a whole bunch more cardboard from Costco, and I'm working on finishing up areas that were not covered before, reinforcing some areas, doing some extra layers. Again, this is an attempt to do some organic weed control. The mulch, I got free from the company that is installing fiber off the cable in this whole area. Um, so you can see I got a bunch to do now. The pumpkins on this end of the garden are not doing great. This end of the garden is shady in the afternoon. That could be why. Don't mind that. Ooh, look at the cannas. Those are gorgeous. I need to split those out though. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous. But on this end, the pumpkins are super happy. They get sun the whole day, pretty much. Oops, I just stepped on my shoelace and untied it. But that's okay. Chickens. Um, but look at that beauty. That one has just magically appeared recently. Now, for, so far the chickens are leaving the pumpkins alone. So I don't want to be over here too much when these folks are looking because they'll notice me looking and then come see what I'm looking at because they're little rascals like that. I need to get more cardboard back here. As you can see, I have some. Get this mulch spread out but we're on our way to trying to make this more of a manageable space ideally at some point I want to make this all a vegetable garden so some permaculture some I'm not sure exactly what a combination but definitely want to use this to grow food I don't care at all about having lawn at all so I'd like to do something a little different back here but right now I forgot to wear my headband, so I'm dripping sweat, which is gross, and I'm not going to show you what I look like because I look like gross. But look at those clouds. That's why it's humid. Those kind of clouds. Uh, so I hope everything's going well with you right now, and I will check back with you later. 